Welcome to another Samplitude Access tutorial. We're just going to have a quick look on how to set your audio and MIDI devices in Samplitude uh, so you can get up and running. We won't be looking at a lot of the options in there, just going to go to the basic things that you need to get up and running um, recording and using MIDI in Samplitude. So I'm in the VIP. Location, VIP window. I'm going to press Y to go to the system options. System options, Samplitude Pro X4 Suite. Okay, and by default, you'll be you'll be uh, landed on audio setup one of nine. Something called audio setup. So this is a long tree view of various system options. So we're going to tab once in here. Driver system, driver system combo box, Asio Sapphire two of five, Alt plus D. So when we tab once, we'll be in the list of available devices. Mine is set to the ACO Asio Sapphire two of five. Sapphire. Okay, I won't change this because I will lose speech if I do that. But your device, your device will actually appear in this list. So it'll say something like USB and the name of the device. It's hard to say because everybody has different devices and different configurations. But it will be in there. So arrow down and select it. Make sure it's selected. Tab again. A CO setup clock source combo box five wire one of one. Um, that should automatically be whatever your device uses, whether it's USB or FireWire or whatever Thunderbolt. So we can tap through here. A CO setup control panel button. Alt plus P. We'll go through some of these buffer settings now. Buffer settings button. Alt plus dash. Buffer settings VIP object buffer. Read only edit. Buffer settings plus button. Alt plus device resolution slash driver communication twenty. Okay, so that we we go through the buffer settings because that it's best to set your um, buffer settings in the actual device's control panel. So if you want it set to five twelve and um, a sample rate of forty eight thousand to match your projects, that type of thing suggest doing it in there and then if you need to tweak anything you can do a combination of the devices control panel and in these system settings with the buffers okay so I'll just go back and let's see what my buffer, settings, plus button. All buffer settings VIP object buffer read only edit 2048 so man's currently set to 2048 you should be fine to get up and running just by leaving it things like this and then tweak if necessary. So if we tap a couple more times to the Buffer settings plus button. Alt next plus one of interest. Device resolution slash driver communication 24 bit radio button checked. Two of three. Alt plus okay, R. so we're in another list there. And that gives us the bit depth of our projects that we want to be using. The 16, 24, and 32 in here for me. I've got it set to 24. You can select what you want to your preference. So tab again. Monitoring setup, monitoring slash engine mode, left, right slider, 100%. Alt so plus the M. monitoring engine mode. By default, again, with the scripts, should be set to 100%. If it's not, make sure it's at 100% by using the page up and page down our, um, keys here. Um, setting it to 100% allows you to hear effects, reverbs, that type of thing when you're monitoring any um, tracks. So with, if it's set to a low value, there's a possibility that effects not, will not be included in that uh, monitoring. So make sure it's at 100%. Tab again. Monitoring setup, monitoring behavior, combo box, tape monitoring, two or two. Okay, again, another list by default, it should be tape monitoring. If it's not, select tape monitoring. Otherwise, just, just leave it at what it is, tape monitoring. Tab again. Monitoring setup, mix input and playback, checkbox checked, all plus X. So we can leave that, that should be checked. Again, if it isn't, check it, but it should be. Okay button, all plus and O. And then we're back round to the okay button. So we're just gonna tab round Cancel to button. that first one. Help button, Alt plus A, tree one, tree view, audio setup. One so nine. we're in audio setup, we're going to arrow down to devices. Audio devices. Okay, we're going to tab in here. Audio devices dialog, recording list one, list view, Pro 14007F39 IP1 plus Pro 14007F39 IP2, SEO Sapphire in, one of four. Okay, so that we're in a list of our recording inputs. So our inputs are from our device. If we arrow down here, it will give us the name and tell us if they're enabled or disabled. So it's a bit verbose that, but we'll arrow down, down once. Enabled. Pro 14007F39 IP3 plus Pro 14007F39 IP4 CO Sapphire in 2 or 4. So it told us it's enabled. If we wanted to, to disable it, we press the space bar. Pro 14007F39 IP3 plus Pro 14007F39 IP4 CO Sapphire in disabled. So it tells us it's disabled. We'll enable it. Pro 14007F39 IP3 plus Pro 14007F39 IP4 CO Sapphire in enabled. Okay, so you basically choose what inputs you want to show. So this affects what of it, uh, um, inputs are available to you when you're actually doing your routing. So if some are disabled in here, they will not show in the VIP when you try and do your routing. So make sure you enable all the inputs you want in here. Recording device info button. 
Then we've got various other options. Recording rename button. Recording black up pointing triangle. Recording black down pointing triangle. Recording reset button. Playback list one list view. Pro 14007F391 on one plus Pro 14007F391 on two. SEO Sapphire route one of six. Okay, so we're in another list here for the playback. Again, the same scenario. Enable the ones you want. Disable the ones you don't want. Playback device info button. Playback rename button. Playback black up. Playback black up. Playback reset button. Okay button. Alt plus O. And then we're back round to the OK. Cancel button. Alt plus C. Help button. Alt plus A. Tree one tree view. Audio devices. Two and then nine. we're back round to the uh, tree view. If you arrow down once more. MIDI. To the MIDI. Let's have a look at the MIDI. Again, there's lots of options in here. So we're going to whiz through here and just look at the important ones. MIDI dialog. MIDI input. MIDI input. List one. List view. Pro 14 MIDI. One of two. Okay. So we've got the MIDI input. Uh, what we've got two in here. Enabled. Nano control two. Two or two. So I've got a control surface, a nano control there, which is enabled. Enabled. Pro 14 MIDI. One of two. And the Pro 14 is enabled. So use the space bar if you don't want any of these things showing or to be using them when you're in the VIP. List one, list view. Microsoft GS Wave Table Synth. One of three. Okay. So we're in another list there of uh, stuff. Um, I disable the wavetable synth because we don't need enabled. it. Pro 14 disabled. Microsoft GS Wave Table Synth. There One we three. go. It's disabled, so you can disable the devices you don't particularly want. Device info button. Rename button. Reset device names button. Black up pointing triangle button. Black down point. Global record device. Combo box. Pro 14 MIDI. One of two. Alt plus R. Okay, so we've got like another list here of global record devices. Um, you won't be able to disable or uh, enable them in here because they will be uh, tied to the inputs and outputs um, and the, in the previous ones that we was just enabling. So um, you should be able to just leave these as they are. Global play device, combo, MIDI recording, MIDI recording, edit, zero, MIDI recording, retrospective recording, checkbox, not checked. Okay, so then we're just going to whiz through these other options because they, by default you should be fine and it's outside of the scope of this basic tutorial to, to be changing these so tap through MIDI recording audio slash audio slash MIDI sync audio slash MIDI sync you automatic volume fake deactivate all MIDI fun activate size exit use system time for MIDI link the IP queue and note on chasing check send all notes off to the OK button Alt plus O and then back round to the OK cancel button Alt plus C I'll cancel because I don't want to make any changes enter and Samplitude Pro X4 back in the VIP track one, on track one. one so that enables us to specify what inputs and outputs we want to be using how to set our audio device so we can get up and running in samplitude.